In this video, we'll write the formula for ferric oxide. So ferric oxide, this is using an older naming system called the stock naming system. In that system, if it ends in OUS, that's the lower ionic charge. So with iron, you'd have ferrous oxide because iron's either Fe2 plus or Fe3 plus. The higher charge ends in IC. So ferric would be Fe3 plus. You can kind of remember that the OUS has O in it like lower and the higher has I like the ick here. So we have Fe3 plus for ferric. Oxygen will always have a two minus ionic charge. And the whole thing needs to add up to zero. We need to have a net charge of zero because this is not an ion. So there's an easy way to figure out what these subscripts can be. It's called the crisscross method. If we put the two here and the three here, clean these up, we end up with Fe2O3 as the formula for ferric oxide. So this is the formula for ferric oxide. And we can check this. Remember we said since it was ick, we had a three plus, and the oxygen here, that's two minus. Three times two minus, that's six minus. Two times three plus, six plus. These two numbers add up to zero, so it is a neutral compound. So this is the correct formula. So to write the formula for ferric oxide, you do need to know when you see ferric that iron can be either two plus or three plus. Since we have the I, it's going to be the higher ionic charge. This is Dr. B with the formula for ferric oxide, Fe2O3. Thanks for watching.